All right. Today is Thursday. Thursday begins with T H. T and H. Line, line. Middle bar. T H. Thursday. T H is for Thursday. T H is for the great outdoors. T H is for thistle. Have you ever seen the thistles outside? Yeah, but T H is for Thursday. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was thinking we should do some dancing again. Let's see if you guys can get your scarves out. Here we go. Let's make our THs for Thursday. Actually, let's spell all of Thursday out. We're gonna spell all of Thursday out with our scarves. We're gonna get a dancey dance in here. Get our scarves out. I'm gonna take mine because it's so long I don't wanna scare Tank and fold it in half. Here we go. Let's make our T down, across. That's T. After a T in Thursday comes H. Let's make our H. Down, down, middle, yay, H, T, H, U. Let's make a U, U, T, H, U. After U comes an R, down, around, and leg. Yeah, T, H, U, R, S, S, nice, D, F. After S comes D, there's D, D, day, D-A-Y. All right, let's do our D. D, let's do our A. Up, down, middle, and let's do our Y. Beep, beep, and then down. Yay, we just spelled Thursday with our scarf. Let's see if you guys can do Thursday with other things. Do you have any pillows laying around the house? Do you have uh, your body parts or your family body parts? Maybe we can do Thursday with, <clears throat> you ready? I'm gonna do my T. T. I'm gonna do my H. Ready? <laughs> Bing, H. Yeah, with our bodies. Speaking of, why do I have this blue belt on and what am I wearing? Remember, this week is uniform week. What uniform are you wearing? I'm wearing my my um, Aikido uniform with, <clears throat> I just had, oh, a gi. There we go, I had a, a mind blank, I forgot. I'm wearing my Aikido gi, which is my Aikido uniform, the uniform we wear when I'm practicing Aikido. Now, I haven't practiced in a few years, so, uh, but I used to do some teaching, especially kids stuff. So when we go outside to the great outdoors, we'll get to do some Aikido moves today. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, and in Aikido, they have different belts. And the colors of the belt determines how long you've studied and what level you're at. So yeah, ta-da, that's in short. All right, we have our Thursday, April 30th. I have my Aikido gi on. What uniform do you have on? Nice, lots of fun uniforms. All right, we have done our Thursday spellings. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. I'm gonna turn off this light. Let's go outside and tell our chickens to wake up. Wake up, little chickens. Wake up, little chickens. Wake up. I wanna bring you with me. So you can see me. Hey! All right, we are gonna wait, go outside. I don't know if Tank's gonna come with us because I think he's a little bit like, I'm still sleepy. Do you guys ever get sleepy in the morning? Let's get ready to go to the chickens. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to let out the chickens. We're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to let out the chickens. When we let out the chickens, they will need some food. When we let out the chickens, they will need some food. When they eat, they'll make their noises like this. When they eat, they'll make their noises like this. 
Oh, we're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to let out the chickens. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to let out the chickens. When we let out. Ah, here they are. Dun, 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 dun. The great outdoors. Ta -ba 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 -ba. Look what I've got. Check it out. Chicken's favorites. All right, I'm gonna set their bowls out here for you. Bum, 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 bum. Dump a little food in. I'm gonna try turning this one over too. This bowl here, and see if I could dump some food in there too. See if they'll eat it. Oftentimes they just spill it. <gasps> Did you hear that bird? The bird's saying good morning to us too. And here's their water. They still have a little bit left, so I'm gonna just set that there. Here we go, their food and their water. Let's go over to the coop. All right, guess what I found the other day? I'll see if he's in here this morning. I'm not sure if he is or not. But I found a little mouse that's living in the coop. Yeah. Which, I don't really like mouse mice in my house. A mouse in a house, hey, that rhymes. But, I figure if he's outside in a coop, it's kind of like a farm mouse, right? You know. Let's see if we can see him. Ready? We have to look quickly. See him? Oh, he's in the corner. Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding underneath the ground. You can't see him today. Yeah, he lives in that cylinder underneath the water. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Hello, chickens! Good to see you, girls. One, two, three, four, five chickens all running over to get their food. Oh, there's only one, two, three, four now. There's the fifth one. Do you guys have pet chickens? I'll have to show you pictures and videos of when they were little bitty babies. They were so cute last year as little bitty babies. Now they're very big chickens and very beautiful. All right, friends, I am going to let... Oh, do you see what's over there? Yeah, I just put in some new compost and some new dirt in the garden. Nothing's growing yet except for the onion. And the sage is coming back. And I believe that... Oh, what is that called? The rhubarb is coming back, but it'll be coming back soon. Did you notice any other changes in the yard? Check out up here. Check out the pear tree. Yeah, the pear tree is getting blossoms on it, and those are going to grow pears from there. And then this is the plum tree. The plum tree is also growing blossoms on it. There's some that are in full bloom. Ta -da! Oh, and the sun is rising. Yes, these chickens like to be out very early in the morning. And then that's my sprinkler because I'm trying to grow more grass here. As you can see, it's very dirt, which is okay. All right, let's look at the peach tree and then and see its blossoms. And then we will head over to do some Aikido in the morning. Here's the peach tree blossoms. Check it out. Oh yeah, there's a blossom right there. And I don't know if you noticed, we're gonna talk about this later. Do you see that I have pretty beads hanging in the tree too? Yeah, that was from decorating my tree last Beltane. And we are going to talk about Beltane today. Oh, the chickens are so excited. They just want to follow us everywhere. They may be joining us today. Oh, here's another bush. A little gooseberry bush that's going to grow little berries on it. They're not ready yet. And that's an elderberry bush. Starting to grow little leaves. No berries yet. Oh, this is interesting. Look at how it's growing its leaves here. Let's see if I can get a close up on this guy. Yeah, see how it's got the leaves and the little shoots coming off? Very interesting. Okie doke, friends. We 
are going to grab our bubbles, dun da da, and my computer and the chair. I'm gonna put you down for a few seconds. Bum, bum, bum. And we're gonna sing, we're on a way to do Aikido. I'm gonna put you down so you see black for a few minutes. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to see, do Aikido. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to do some Aikido. When we do Aikido, we will wear a gi. When we do Aikido, we will wear a gi. The gi is white with a belt. The gi is white with a belt. Oh, we're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to do Aikido. We're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Aikido. All right. I'm gonna get this spread up for you. Let's do Aikido. Yeah, that's the computer right there. I'll take the computer with me. Yes. We're gonna watch us do some Aikido. Chickens are like, whoa. <laughs> All right, first I'm gonna start with blanket on the ground because it's so early in the morning and I watered so well last night that it's really wet. And I'm wearing white for Aikido. And then you're going to say each. 
Ready? Neat. Knee. Sun. She. She. Go. Go. Rope. Feet. Feet. Hut. Hut. Coo. Coo. Jew. Jew. Nice. We're on first feet. Put the other foot forward. Uh, toes. The knees are over the toes. And these one of the toes are a little bit to the side. Make sure it's comfy. You can stand there. We're going to row our boat. You ready? Yeet. Yeet. Knee. Knee. Sun. Sun. She. She. Go. Go. Rope. Rope. Feet. Feet. Hut. Hut. Coo. Coo. You. Yeah. Nice job. Shake again. You like our shaking? Nice. The other thing we do on Aikido is we, we warm up our wrists because we do a lot of wrist spin. So you can take your hand. Uh, yeah, we can do this. So you take your hands together like you're going to clap. Then turn one of them to the side and bring it in. Each, me, sun, she, go. Good job. Do the clap again. And then turn the other one so that the back to the front. And bring it in. Each, me, sun, she, Go, good job. The other thing we're gonna do is clap, clap, clap again with our hands up. Turn one to face the side. Hold it by the thumb and go down. Each, knee, sun, she, go. Good job, same thing. Clap like this. Turn the other one towards you, not away, but towards yourself. Like your pinky's gonna touch your nose. Grab your thumb, each, knee, sun, she, go. Nice, you guys are natural it with Aikido. All right. Oh, I forgot my bells. I was gonna sing a song with the bells today. All right, we'll do something else, that's okay. We're gonna do some Aikido animal <laughs> exercises. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, let me set this up over here. You guys be thinking about what animal you can be for Aikido. Do you guys have space in your house to just start to crawl and fly and jump and run like animals? Here we go. We are going to be a bear. Let's be a bear when we are a bear. I think we've done this before. We do one side and down. The other side, and down. One side, and down. The other side, and down. One side, and down. Oh, nice. You see, I, I have to turn around because I run out of mat space. You guys keep going, or you can turn around too if you run out of space. One side, and down. The other side, and down. One side, and down. The other side, and down. One side, and down. One side and down. Nice bears. All right. All right. Now, let's be mice. Just like the mouse you tried to look for in the coop, but he must have been hiding. They're really small, and they go really fast. They go. Can you guys be mice? Ready, set. Nice. Let's do mouse again. And mouse again. Awesome. All right. Everyone stand up. We're going to travel to Australia. We're going to be kangaroos. Boing, 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 boing. All the way across the mat. Boing, 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 boing. In Aikido, we didn't even do Aikido on a mat. So we do lots of falling and rolling. Nice kangaroos. Okay, this one's hard for me. But I bet you guys can do it. The penguin. Hold your feet. See if I can hold the other one at least do it. Yay, I did it. Oh, just for a second. Penguin. Wink. Squint. Wink. If you can't hold both your feet, just like me, you can put one foot down. Let's do our penguin across the mat. Woohoo! Perfect penguin. Perfect penguin. Woohoo! I'm a one footed penguin. Can you be a two footed penguin? Woo! Nice work. All right. Ooh, this is a fun one. 
very hard to move across the floor doing this, but I bet you can. Guys, got to see it. 
It's very exciting. <laughs> Did you guys see these growing while I was doing Aikido? Let me see if we can see what this is. It's a little fuzzy in the picture. I'll touch it, maybe it'll get a little bit clearer. Yeah, we talked about these last Thursday. Do you remember what flower or what plant this is? Dandelion. Look at them though, they're all closed up right now. Yeah. Well, I thought what I would do for you guys is I would share with you a little bit about something I made yesterday. Two days ago now, I think actually. Now that I think about it. Let's see if you can see it. It's morning time, so it's making a nice good reflection. Let's see if maybe I turn it towards towards the fence. That's a little better. There we go. Check these out. Do you know what these are that I made? I made dandelion fritters. Yeah. Those are orange slices and see the dandelions there? You can actually pick dandelions and make some yummy food out of them. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this without shaking it. All right, whoa, goodness, I did something silly. Not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. All right, so it's springtime in Colorado and with spring comes lots of gorgeous flowers. Most prolific of those flowers is the dandelion. And though the dandelion's a weed to some people, the dandelion has many purposes in the spring. Its early blooming makes it great food for the bees that are just waking and the butterflies that are passing through. And yes, for we humans too, the dandelion can be a medicinal and tasty snack. But you have to make sure there's no pesticides growing in the area. And the best use of this plant can be the green leaves. Um, but as the flowers start to bloom, the energy shifts of the plant from the leaves, transfers into the flowers, which is the perfect time to make dun, 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 dandelion fritters. Now, the flowers of a dandelion are very interesting. They open and they close with the sun. So this morning, we just saw the dandelion closed up because it's very early morning. So very early morning and late afternoon are not the time to pick them because they're already closed up. But late morning and midday are best times to pick these dandelions. Um, and after you pick them, you have to make cook them right away. Otherwise, they turn into the fluff and no one wants to eat fluff. All right, here's how you do it. Step one, pick the dandelions. Make sure they have long stems still, okay? That'll help you for cooking later. Step two, wash them and rinse them. Step three, mix a pancake-like batter. You use flour and egg and milk. You can use one egg, one cup of flour, and like three-fourths a cup of milk to about two cups of dandelions. You dip the flour, see how I'm dipping the flour here face first into the batter. You warm oil in a skillet or a pan, and then you stick. You hold on to the very ends of those stems and you stick that battered dandelion on the pan. You make sure you always have an adult helping you on this. Step six is um, place the battered dandelions face down on the pan. Step seven, when they start to brown, flip them over with a spatula or a fork and push them down so all the gooey gets cooked. Step eight, flip them back over and slice off those stems. Now, you can keep them on, it won't hurt you. You can just crispy, crispy chew those stems right up but I like to give the stems to the chickens. And then, voila, scoop them onto a plate, let them cool, and then you can serve them drizzled with a little honey, which is my favorite way to eat them. Or you can just eat them just like they are. And there you have dandelion fritters as a lovely snack. From these, dandelions, or in Chinese medicine we call pu gong ying. And the Latin name is Taraxicum herba. Yeah, that was our fun lesson about dandelions today. Let's see what the chickens are up to. Oh, foraging in the grass. They're not foraging dandelions, but I bet they're foraging something else. 
Well, speaking of dandelions, I have this lovely song I wanted to share with you. Did I bring the bubbles? I did. I forgot my scarf, though. I was going to dance with my scarf. If you guys have your scarves, get your scarves out and you can dance with them to this lovely dandelion song. And in the meantime, I'll blow some bubbles. that one. Ta-da! Trying to pause it. There we go. Pause. Did you guys have fun with that dandelion song? I loved that one. I was thinking now I was going to share with you what is so special about today. Today is actually a holiday. Did you know that? Well, Tomorrow is the holiday, but today's the day they start to celebrate the holiday. It is very tricky to see outside, so I may actually move us back inside. Let's make sure there's nothing else I wanted to show you. I'll show you the chickens for a little bit more to make sure there's nothing else to show you outside. And then we're going to come in and study about what special holiday is coming up. It's so exciting. All right, yes. 
we are gonna say bye to the chickens and head inside and learn a little bit about this special holiday coming up called Beltane. But before we go in, or on our way in, I'm gonna show you this that I have hanging in my tree. Yeah, do you see that special little decoration I have in my tree? That was also from Beltane last year. Yeah, tomorrow is May 1st. May 1st is actually a holiday that they call Beltane. And Beltane is a holiday that the Celts, the people who lived in Ireland, and Scotland, and um, Great Britain, and a lot of actually European countries, they celebrated. And they'd celebrate it on May 1st because there they call that the beginning of summer. Now, in Colorado, we often still think that it is still spring right now. And that's an okay thing to think about because it kind of really is still spring right now. But let me zoom this in so you can study a little bit about a special holiday. And oftentimes they start celebrating it today on April 30th. That's when they start their celebrations, especially at nighttime. Dun, da, da. There you go. Beltane is no, also known as Sitamen, is a festival to celebrate the beginning of summer in Ireland and Scotland. This is a fire festival, and it's observed the first day in May with bonfires, maypoles, parades, dancing, and feasting. This is a picture of the maypole. It's a pole with lots of pretty colored ribbons coming off of it, and people hold on to the ends of it and dance and dance and dance till the whole pole is wound up with ribbons. Beltane is mentioned in some of the earliest Irish literature, and it's associated with important events in Irish mythology. It marks the beginning of summer and was when cattle, the cows, were driven out to the summer pastures. Rituals were performed to protect the cattle, crops and people, and to encourage growth. Special bonfires were kindled and their flames, smoke, and ashes were deemed to have protective powers. The people and their cattle would walk around the bonfire between two bonfires and sometimes leap over flames or embers. Obviously, we don't do that now. It's not safe for our bodies. But if someone is trained to do that, that's what they did. All household fires would be doused. That means you'd put out the fire that you'd cook in and then and warm your house in. And then you'd relight your fire from the Beltane bonfire. And these gatherings would be accompanied by a feast with lots of lovely food. Doors, windows, and even the cows would be decorated with yellow mayflowers, probably because yellow and flowers made you think of fire. In parts of Ireland, people would make a may bush. A may bush is here. It's a thorny bush or just any bush that's decorated with flowers, ribbons, and bright shells. Do you remember the beads that I had in my tree? Yeah, I decorated my tree that way. Many of these customs were part of May Day or Midsummer Festivals in other parts of Great Britain and Europe. Many of these customs were part of May Day. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> the term Beltane is derived from the Celtic god named Bel and the Gaelic word Tane, which means fire. Together, Beltane means bright fire, just like the bright fire in the sky of the sun. And this was also celebrated as the fire festival at night with bonfires to honor the sun. And this is a picture of the Roman Floralia festival. The goddess Flora is pictured in the center. In ancient Rome, the first three days in May were celebrated as the festival of flowers known as Floralia. Participants wore flowers in their hair and gathered for communal dancing, feasting and role playing. According to the lore, which means story and um, spoken word and stories that were told, in the British Isles, the green man was the one who welcomed the beginning of summer during the pre-Christian era. Today, some old cathedrals in Europe even has the green man's face on it as ornaments, even though he was not Christian. One of the common symbols used during Sabbat is the maypole. Sabbat is like a celebration, a special celebration that's a religious ceremony. So they use the maypole. And so the picture you saw initially, that's kind of what they have. It's a pole in the ground 
and all these kids are holding a different colored ribbon and they walk around and round and round and under and over and weave around each other and they tie up the maypole. For centuries, maypoles are said to be decorated with flowers and greenery, just like today. In the early 20th century, dances under the maypole with colored ribbons and tied on top of the pole became popular. Aha, and here's one of the fire. Being the fire festival, Beltane is celebrated with huge bonfires to celebrate the power of the sun. Rituals included dancing and singing around the bonfire. And people were dressed up too. Oh, Beltane foods include sweets like honey, chocolates, and fruit pastries, which represent love. Now, one thing that you guys can do at your home, if you have trees in your backyard, you can do the Beltane magic. You tie colored ribbons to your trees with blessings written on them. So you can write on the ribbons or you could just think about the things that you want to say thank you for or things that you want to bless or things that you want to help make sure you keep having happen in this new summertime and help grow. Red is for love and passion. White is for peace and harmony. Green is for good fortune and wealth. Purple is for spiritual growth. Yellow is for joy. Pink is for friendship. Blue is for wisdom and healing. And orange is for success. But you can make your own colors, ideas. If you have other ideas of what you think orange means, that's okay too. And if you don't have a tree in your backyard to tie these ribbons on, what you can also do is you can get a stick and tie ribbons onto the stick. And you can just have the sticks in your special place in your bedroom and you can make your own maypole by braiding those ribbons all the way around that stick. And if you don't have ribbons, you can just get paper and color it, the paper different colors and tie those onto the trees or tape those onto the trees or, or tape those onto a stick in your room. There's lots of different ways to do this Beltane magic. So in Beltane, others um, dress trees. Oh yeah, we just talked about that. Hawthorn, birch, and rowan trees were their favorite trees to dress up. The hawthorn tree is a tree that has little red berries on it and kind of prickly thorns on it, and that's what they used to call the fairy tree. People dress in all white or fancy clothes, or they wear fun fairy and nature-themed costumes. Yeah, she has flowers in her hair. Yeah. And, very important, at night, on the eve of Beltane, right before they make their big fires, which would be tonight, set out a bowl of milk and honey with some flower decorations left for the fairies. See how they tied some flowers together? Those look like they may be dandelions. Yeah, so we're gonna sing a song now about Beltane. It's kind of a silly song, but it's fun. And now I can use my chimes, which I wanted to have anyway. It's, are you going to the Beltane Fair? I'll say it first, you say it. Are you going to the Beltane Fair? Are you going to the Beltane Fair? Dancing, fire, ribbons, and wine. Dancing, fire, ribbons, and wine. Laugh your heart full when you get there. Laugh your heart full when you get there. For tis the goodness of springtime. For tis the goodness of springtime. Here's what it sounds like. Tis the goodness of the springtime. 
For it is the goodness of the springtime. Nice. Let's try it all together. <coughs> I may turn, turn it down a little bit this morning so I have a little bit of pop the cough going on. I'm going to go down a little bit. Are you going to the belting fair? Dancing fire, ribbons, and wine. Let your heart full when you get there. For it is the goodness of the springtime. Are you going to the belting fair? Dancing fire, ribbons, and wine. Let your heart full when you get there. For it is the goodness of the springtime. So your homework tonight, guys, there's two really important things to do and other things that are also kind of important. One, really important, remember to let set out your little bowl of milk and honey or just something sweet and nice for the fairies. Um, they like it under trees, but you can set it anywhere. So set that out tonight, one. Two, uh, that's also really important. Try to make a ribbon with a piece of stick and tape a ribbon onto it or tape, um, you can even on the stick, you can even tie your scarf onto it because tomorrow we're going to do a dance for, on the honor of Beltane with our scarves and with our ribbon dance. And you can do it with just the scarf, but it'd be great if you could have like a ribbon dance to dance with. So get a stick and tape a ribbon onto it or tape a scarf onto it, or you can tape some paper onto it and, or tie it on and then we can have a stick to dance with. So those are the two important things. Set out that bowl of milk for the fairies and make your uh, ribbon to dance with tomorrow. But also for homework, if you think about it and you have time, one, if your family has a place to make a little fire, or even if you don't have that, if you have a little candle in your house, you can have a little candle tonight for Beltane and talk about what summertime, springtime and summertime is for you and what you hope to grow this season. And that could be like, I want to grow carrots, or I want to grow more dandelions. But that can also be like, I want to grow um, more confident in myself, or I want to grow better at playing the piano, or I want to grow more friends around me, those sort of things. Um, you, can, you can talk about those things that you want to grow this season with the candle or with the fire. And another thing you can do is, um, this is really fun, which I'm gonna do today, is um, get some beads and ribbons and paper and decorative things and go pretty up your trees. Put some beads on those trees. Make sure it's okay with the tree first, but usually it is, they usually like pretty stuff. Um, and then decorate up those trees with ribbons and ideas and things that pretty artwork that you think is really nice. You can even take pictures to the tree if the tree's okay with it, or you can set the pictures next to the tree. And remember, it's outside, so it may get wet. And that's okay, because that's part of nature too. Nature's a cycle where things grow and then they die. Things are created and then they're destroyed. Um, but uh, yeah, and if you don't have a tree outside and you can't decorate it, go ahead and you can go on a little, ask your parents if it's safe to go on a little walk today and see if you can collect some sticks and wash your sticks off so they're safe to pick up. And, um, and then you can make, you can decorate your sticks. And one thing you can do is take that stick. Okay, if this was my stick, I could take ribbons and tie it onto my stick and then I could put it on my bed at night. And that could be my belting decoration. Well, I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the great outdoors today. Tomorrow, we're going to do some more stuff inside as well as outside, and I hope you enjoyed doing some Aikido today, too. Bye, friends.